there he is, a nice start for the day. Today, Dave and I end up on Lake Thompson for our walleye trip. After a couple hours of not finding walleye, we stumbled onto a huge school of panfish. <laughs> Let the fun begin. <laughs> Ooh. And you can tell when they fill your hand. That is a dandy perch. Church is where we pray out in the wild. Wild Dakota is presented by American Family Insurance, the Mike Teejan Agency, Fleet Farm, our official retailer. Vortex, the force of optics. Bob's Custom Meats is pleased to meet you. Skins it, get the most out of your fillets. Venom Outdoors, innovative fishing products. Rad Bortnum's Channel Seed. The South Dakota Outdoor Adventure Foundation, JT Outdoor Products, Garrettson Gun Club, Gary Allen Guide Service, Boat to Trailer, Interstate Batteries, Bladed Bouncer, DeView by DeBilt, Reward Real Estate, and Central Plains Taxidermy. Out in the wilds and out in the woods, our family, our faith, Dakota Brotherhood. Out in the wilds. Dave and I are looking forward to a peaceful day of fishing. Dry 2 was on the radar, but the night before, 3 inch range flooded the access roads, which ended that fishing trip. Our next choice would be Lake Ponset or Lake Thompson. A quick flip of the coin, and Lake Thompson won out. We're going to be bottom bouncing, trying for different colors and depths, the usual plan of attack. I don't know what it is yet, but it's not a 20 incher, I can tell you that much. Looks like a perch. Oh, it's a white bass. <laughs> Nowhere to go but up. That's for sure. Well, it's your lucky day, little guy. The day is starting slow. Many of the glacial lakes are multi-species, which helps fill in the gaps. It also gives you time to organize and think ahead of which presentations you want to try. Oh yeah, and with the view in place, you can see the direction you're going at a glance. Oh, 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 here we go. Well, I got something too, Dave, but I don't think it might be a Oh no! Might be smaller than mine smaller now. Smaller than yours. Oh, there's my fish, right there. <laughs> nice call. There we go. I'm gonna have to start doing that. What you got what back there? Well, that's a that's a crappie. That's a crappie. Look hey. at that. I haven't had one of those for a while. Yeah. I haven't got a crappie in years. Boy, and he smacked that thing too. Crappies do like crappies. crappie. There he is, a nice start for the day, a crappie. Look at there. That's a big enough for puke. I think he's gonna work. It's a nugget. There you go. Okay. I'm on the board and we're only been fishing. Well, it's 9.30 after our little fast go this morning. Yeah. We've been about 10 minutes and you've already, you got your second yep. little bass and I've got a crappie. Now yep. we need some walleye. Of all the options we have in South Dakota looking for walleye, we ended up on Lake Thompson. We're going to be dragging a bottom bouncer with a crawler and a harness and a spinner, and we're going to be varying our depths from 10 to 15 feet of water until we can find the fish. Are you using a whole crawler or half? I'm using a whole crawler, but I'm pinching it off right behind the second hook. Yeah. Fish. Not quite a, a 30 incher, but. It's definitely bigger than the two little punies I had on before. I, there he is. Nice perch. perch. Nice perch. I don't like it. Well, there we go. Oh, 
it. Oh, and he did come off. Oh, yeah. He just came off in the net. <laughs> See, I've been fishing eyes enough to know that no matter what, you net them. That's a really nice, like, nine yeah. inch or something. Cool. What do you think? Good catch. Oh, he's Let an eater. Go, or you want to... He's an eater. Dave and I are on Lake Thompson. Walleyes have been hard to come by, but we have found a spot where panfish like crappie, perch, and white bass are hanging out. So our target species has changed. This feels pretty good. Oh, another perch. That's, Look at this perch. That's a pagan. Oh, that's a jumbo. Don't lose him. <laughs> there you go. Look at that guy. Yeah, fatty. Man, oh man. That is a pig. Nice. Look at there. What a multi-species day. And yeah. Oh, Lake Thompson here is showing what he's got. Look at that guy. Wow. We started out looking for some walleye and haven't had any luck. We're going at about 2, 2.1, 2.2 miles an hour in 10 to 12 feet of water and have not found any fish. Now we're moving out to 15 feet, going at 2.3, dragging a bouncer, oh, yeah. finding panfish. Yep, that, that feels like it's fighting. It's a lot bigger than the perch or the crappies we got, so let's see what it is. Maybe this is Grandma White Bass that <laughs> I was laughing about. Let's see. That's an eye. That's an eye. Might not be a keeper, but it's an eye. Oh, by golly, fought like you was an 18 answer. Ah, there we go. Well, we got to the right color of them. That's the good yeah, part. Right species, finally. Yep. <laughs> They're light biting, too. Just right in oh, the corner right of the, the mouth. Edge. Yep. But, pretty little devil. Okay. You're up and seeing in a couple of years. Chartreuse inline spinner and a couple of chartreuse beads. Gold hook. And Mr. Crawler on the death roll hook. Oh, I think I pulled it right out of his mouth. Maybe not. Maybe not. No, I got it. I got it. Close to 15 at least. Yeah. <laughs> that today would look like a darn big fish. Oh no. He's a pike. He's a piker, yeah. Sure is. You know when you're fishing and sometimes you're looking for walleye or whatever species it is and you just can't find them. They're not biting at all. And you try something just a little bit different and something different happens. You catch a different species of fish. And sometimes we just stumble onto a good thing. I got a little. Wow. Right perfect hook too. Well, he's a little small, I believe. We're yeah. gonna let him go. There. Well, come on. Just hit him. Here. Yeah. I just had a balance here. All right. Boy, there's what about five species we've caught now? Yeah. Four for sure, yeah. All right. My D hooker. Here you go. Oh, thanks. And he was so polite right in the corner of his mouth, too. Oh, yeah, yeah. I got him. Oh, this feels like a really good perch. Sweet. Or it could even be an eye. Another perch. Sweet. Well, I'll take perch any day, like, especially like that. Look at the bellies on them guys. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Ooh. You can tell when they fill your hand. That is a dandy perch. Man. You know, we're walleye fishing. We need some walleye, that perch. Yeah, but, but we don't we don't turn anything down. No. As long as it swims, we'll catch it. That's right. All right. Okay. Night crawlers is what we're using. Minnows seem to be uh, too late in the season. 
So we're on night crawlers and that's a late season bait. Two ounce bottom bouncer, a bladed Dave and I are getting dialed in on the panfish. A good supply of blades and propellers with various colors are what's needed. You can keep changing the colors as the sun moves across the sky with the different light conditions. We're fishing in about 15 feet of water. It seems like if we get one side or the other of it that we get out of the fish. But every time we get to 15 feet, we're starting to mark fish. And that was a marked fish. Night crawlers is what we're using. Minnows seem to be uh, too late in the season. So we're on night crawlers and that's a late season bait. Two ounce bottom bouncer, a bladed bottom bouncer. Now if you've never seen those, they've got the blade right on the bottom bouncer and they add to the attractant to the fish. So if you haven't found them, ask for them in your favorite bait and tackle store. And if they don't have them, tell them to get them. They work. Anything that helps you catch fish has got to be good. All right, this feels like a 16 and a half inch walleye. Okay. Don't, don't jinx yourself because uh, I'm serious. This this is the walleye. This is the walleye. Right. Or maybe not. Or maybe not. Maybe another crappie. Big crappie. Another crappie. Yeah. Amazing how hard they can fight. Oh they man! Clear their gills and open the mouth up. Another crappie. Wow. Okay, in the live well. Boy, that 16-inch plus walleye is eluding us big time. We can't catch a big walleye. Oh yeah. He's... Oh yeah. That's a better one. That's a gooder fish here. All right. Just so it's the right color. Uh, no bets on that today. But he slammed it hard anyway. It's an eye. Oh, so it's an eye. Little bit bigger. He might make 11. <laughs> Maybe. Look at that. Just barely, barely hooked. Hey, I got a good, I got another crappie. Did you? Awesome. Look at this guy. Another one. That's my third crappie of the day. Yeah. Wow. Just stout. All right. Ooh, them are gonna taste so good. The thing was just loaded. It was not moving. Oh yeah, I got a fish there though. Just hanging there. Oh yeah, he's. He's got some spirit to him at least. I don't know if he's got much size, but it's, a, it's about like that white bass I caught earlier, fight-wise. Oh, here he, ooh, 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 what is it? What do you got? Northern, I think, yep, big northern. There are many different conditions that can change things. One would be the water temperature, number two would be the wind speed, and number three would be the sun. And the sun can be kind of a real variable because it can go in and out of clouds. So you can have a cloudy time and then you can have a sunlight time and the lures change that quick. So if you're fishing for walleye and it isn't working and you find out perch, crappie, any panfish is on the bite with what you're using, by just varying a little bit of speed and varying a little bit of depth, things can change and then you can make the bust into the best. There we go. I was about right. I had about two pounds rather than three, but... He, he's a box fish. Yep. You want him in the box? Oh yeah. All right. You need a taker out oh, right by your right hip. Yep. Just on the edge of the jaw there. So at least he didn't bite me off this time. I had two bite me off earlier. Stout. Look at the belly on him. He's not real long, but yeah. he's got. got a little... oh. <laughs> Wouldn't have bothered me, but Vern would have cried if he'd have gone back. Right in. back into the net.
Our walleye outing turned into a panfish trip. As they say, a poor day of fishing is better than a good day at work. Not that this was a poor day by any means. Each trip is an adventure, and this one was no exception. A panfish kind of day. Nice. Oh, I got it. <laughs> Ooh. Yep, by golly it is. Doing the death row. Booger. Oh, oh, easy release there. Yeah. Oh man. And I thought if that was going to be another walleye. Yep. Broken hearted. Here we go. Lake Thompson, Southeast South Dakota. View comes in handy, handy dandy. A perch, another perch. Seriously, nice, cool. Yeah, nice look at that guy. Guys. That's a, that's another one of these little. Look at the belly, and then yeah. look at the wide back on them. Yep. All look meat. Height, yeah. Another one. Yeah, perfect profile of a healthy, healthy environment. It is. It is. Nice. Any wow. piece of tackle you can find to help catch fish will be a big plus. The bladed bouncer is one of those products. In the beginning of the season, when the fish are really aggressive, you can put a whole crawler on and have three, four, five inches trailing off behind, and the fish will gobble up the whole thing. As you go through the season, they become more nitpicky. As you, many times you'll find, you just get a little bite, you'll see a tip on your rod, pull it up, and the back end of your crawler is missing. So the one thing you want to remember, if you're double hooked or single hooked, put your crawler on and put the hook right straight through the head of the crawler, and then go back to the back hook and pinch it off about an inch behind that bottom hook, whether it's the first hook or the second hook. And it's getting close to the end of the day. We're going to keep fishing, by the way, just because it's this much fun, but this is all we're going to do for filming. So remember, fish hard, fish safe. Have a successful season. We'll see you next week right here in Wild Dakota, where we're born free, we live wild, and we love proud to be American. bird fish, and we're proud, as Dave said, to be American. Proud to be American. Not bashful, shy, embarrassed, anything. Proud to be American. Fisherman. Well, you gotta have one of these. See the rib on? When you finish a great day of fishing, you only have one job left. But it's good to know that you have a tool that will help make the cleaning go much faster. My Skinsit has cleaned more fish than I can count, and I don't go fishing without it. Make sure to check out great products like these to take advantage of your catch. American make products that work. Skins it. Go to fishskinner.com or ask for it at your local retailer. Hey everyone, this is Jeff with Team Wild Dakota. Real quick, we'd like to thank you for watching. If you like any of Vern or my productions, please support us on the other platforms with a like or a follow. Instagram and YouTube are Wild Dakota TV, just like the graphic, or you can follow me personally at WDTV underscore Jeffrey. If you want to support us beyond that, get all your swag at wilddakota.com, t-shirts, hoodies, and more.